I have here the iMac 21.5 inch mid 2011 running Mac OS Sequoia 15.0 with open core legacy patcher. Open Core Legacy Patcher is a patching software that makes it possible to run the latest versions of the Mac operating system on select Mac devices that are no longer supported by Apple. This device has 32 GB of RAM, 1 TB of SSD storage, 2.5 GHz Quad Core Intel Core i5 processor, and AMD Radeon HD 6750M 5.2 MB graphics. If you are interested in how to upgrade this system to Mac OS Sequoia 15.0, kindly check in the video description. Today I will be exploring the prospect of running the latest Mac OS Mac OS Sequoia 15.0 on this 13 year old iMac and taking a look at the implications of using it for performing daily computer tasks. First, I connect a wireless keyboard which pairs to the iMac successfully and I type out a few lines of text to make sure that it is functioning just as expected. This test proves that the Bluetooth is still functioning very well on this 13 year old iMac running Mac OS Sequoia 15.0. Next, I check a couple of apps that I downloaded prior to the upgrade just to confirm that they were not deleted during the upgrade. They all appear to be intact, proving that you can upgrade to Mac OS Sequoia 15.0 with Open Core Legacy Patcher without losing your apps. Next, I try out a couple of apps that are necessary for performing daily computer tasks. First, I try out Google Chrome browser. It appears to function very well and I am able to open Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides and perform relatively basic tasks on them without any problems or errors popping up. This online word processing, data processing and data presentation apps from Google are truly worth their keep if you choose to use this 13 year old iMac as a primary computing device. I move on to try out two other word processing apps Microsoft Office and WPS Office. Both apps open on this iMac without any kind of errors. Since I do not currently have a subscription for any one of these apps, I could not perform any extended tasks on them. However, they appeared to function just fine for the period of time that I had them open. Next, I tried out a few video editing apps. VN Video Editor, CapCut Video Editor, and Movavi Video Editor. I skipped the Final Cut Pro because this growing channel still lacks the budget for a $300 Final Cut Pro subscription. Hence, your subscription to the channel will be highly appreciated. CapCut Video Editor simply closed and refused to run when opened. Movavi Video Editor opens but runs into an error whenever I attempt to load a video for editing. VN Video Editor was the only video editor on which I could perform some light video editing, but this was not without its challenges. The videos I attempted to edit always had some discoloration that rendered the videos unusable. 
I assume that the data graphics card on his iMac might have something to do with the errors I was experiencing in video editing. Clearly, most video editing apps do not function as intended on this 13-year-old iMac. Next, I try out some system apps. Apple TV opens with a cannot connect error and it was not possible to get any video content to play on the app even when I was signed in. Playing movie previews initially played only the audio but the visuals were absent. However, after a while of playing around with the app, I was able to watch a few movie previews with the visuals. Overall, I would say that the Apple TV app does not function as intended on this 13-year-old iMac. Apple Calendar worked just fine with all the dates and upcoming events showing up as expected. Mail worked fine as well with a seamless connection to my Gmail account. I was able to view and read all my mails without any errors being encountered. Apple News functioned just as expected without any errors and I was able to open and read several articles on the app. Apple Music opened with a cannot connect error but I was able to play a couple of radio stations on the app without any problems. I did not have any music on my Apple Music account, so I cannot say how it would respond to already purchased media on this 13-year-old iMac. Overall, I would say the app is usable to some degree on this 13-year-old iMac but it does not function at its best. The Photos app came up without any errors and I was able to access content and watch them successfully on the app. However, I noticed that the app did not show the thumbnails of the videos as shown here. Overall, the Photos app is relatively usable on this 13-year-old iMac. The Safari browser operates really good on this 13-year-old iMac and it seemed to perform online tasks faster than the Google browser. Watching video content on YouTube with the Safari browser was seamless, fun, and relatively smoother than when doing so on the Google browser. I tried using AirPlay to stream media to my Apple TV streaming box and to my conventional TV, but it was unsuccessful at streaming movies to both devices. An error always showed up when attempting to complete the pairing process. QuickTime Player works just fine on this 13-year-old iMac, and I am able to record the screen successfully without the PC freezing as I had experienced after my previous upgrades. I was unable to change my wallpapers after this upgrade but I consider this a minor bug that can be fixed by the OpenCore Legacy Patcher team in subsequent updates. From my tests, I can conclude that this 13-year-old iMac is suitable for use cases such as daily word processing viewing emails, browsing the web, and consuming video content over the internet. However, this iMac falls short when it comes to performing video editing tasks and consuming audio and video content associated with an Apple account. Therefore, this 13-year-old iMac running macOS Sequoia 15.0 is not worthless in its current state. It can still serve as a computer suitable for users doing light to medium sized computer tasks. My thanks goes out to the team over at Dotania for making this possible with the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. 
without which his iMac would have been in a far more unusable state. If you wish to support the work being done on the open core legacy patcher by the team over at Dotania, you can head over to their website and click on this link, which will bring you to a page where you can do so. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye for now.